finally started winning. Hello and welcome to episode 31 of Rebuilding Derby. My name is Jamie and coming up on today's episode I've got two games for you in the uh, EFL Championship. We are at home to Middlesbrough and away to AFC Wimbledon. Since you were last with me, we have played 12 matches, we've won 5 and lost 7. And that leaves the uh, championship table looking like this at the start of today's episode. We're outside of the bottom 3 for the first time in a while. Um, we are 4 points clear of the, uh, the drop zone at the halfway stage of the season. So uh, this is an opportunity for us to push on and uh, hopefully move clear of trouble. So uh, let's uh, get into the uh, first match of the episode against Middlesbrough. And there we'll uh, pick the team. So we'll start with quick pick and then tweak from there. And in fact, I think I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. So it's Joe Lumley in goal, the back four of Michael Rose, Alfie Jones, Callum Watts and Josh wilson Esbrand. Jacob Davenport at the base of midfield, Luke Dreyer and Jason Knight in central midfield, Yaku Meite and Ryan Longman on the wings, Tom Bradshaw up front. So let's uh, submit that team and get into the, uh, the team talk. And uh, once the teams have completed their warm-up, we'll give them uh, some gentle words of encouragement and uh, try and get them to, uh, to go out there and... Uh, give a good performance against Middlesbrough. So, uh, we will. Uh, yeah, I agree with the assistant. Show everyone what we're all about. Uh, let's uh, kick the match off. And we'll give it, as always, about 10 minutes before we uh, make any tactical alterations. So we're on the, uh, the first highlight of the match, although uh, Middlesbrough have it back and the highlight ends. So it was just a kick off highlight. And we are five minutes in. It's us again. That's got to be a, a booking, surely. Oh, it's a straight red for Perry and Perry and G. Um, so this is a massive opportunity now to get a win against a very decent Middlesbrough side. So let's demand more. And try and push for the win uh, Mayte down the right wing gives it to Rose Davenport goes left for Longman Longman to the byline Wilson Esbrand it's deflected clear and the highlight ends but we're on the attack again although Middlesbrough get it back and this time it's Davenport wins it back to Derby Knight and Sarkic saves it. It's over the over the bar. It's a corner. Dreyer with the in swinging corner to the far stick, but Sarkic grabs it. Sarkic with the uh, kick. in fact now he rolls it to Sharing. Sharing gives it in back. They swap passes a couple times. Middlesbrough trying to play their way clear of trouble. And eventually they go back to the goalkeeper and he goes long. Mate brings it forward. Dreyer drifts wide. Crosses. Sharing heads clear to, but it's to Longman. Longman scores for Derby. It's 1-0. And we do take advantage of the fact that uh, Middlesbrough are down to 10 men. What we need to do now is build on that. And we'll show you the goal again. Sharing's header clear, only as far as Longman on the edge of the box. Back to Knight. Knight gives it back to Longman and he uh, deceives the goalkeeper, slots it under him. Derby County 1, Middlesbrough 0. And uh, no more highlights at the moment. So we're uh, having to look at the match stats for clues as to how it's going. And there's absolutely nothing happening really at the moment. Not even uh, any 
sort of fouls or anything, although there has now been another corner for Middlesbrough. We look like taking it to half time at 1 0. Um, it looks like Jones is going to have to come off at half time, our centre back. So that will be the one change we'll make at the break. Alfie Jones. And I I'm not sure about Ben Purrington as the alternative. We'll have a look. So we'll give the, uh, the lads some encouragement. We've got an extra player. We can get a result. Absolutely. Let's take off Alfie Jones. And in fact, Ben Purrington is the only option. So he comes on. And we'll send the lads out. Let's encourage them at the start of the second half. Middlesbrough with the ball in the first phase of the second half. And Lowry goes backwards to Shering, who goes back to his goalkeeper. Goalkeeper goes long, and the highlight ends. Darby now coming forward. Mate, who's on a booking, but gives the ball away. Uh, we come again though, and this time it's wide left, Longman. Longman inside to Knight. Knight with the cross. Mate with the back post header. And it does count, it's 2 0. So that is a brilliant start to the second half. And should be, even at this early stage in the uh, second half, given that Middlesbrough are down to 10 men, that should be enough for the three points. But we're going to keep pushing, keep going for another goal. Bradshaw might need to be the next one to come off, but we'll wait till the, uh, the hour mark get him off then and then in fact Middlesbrough have a corner on 56 minutes but it's headed clear as far as Bradshaw back to Watts back to the goalkeeper who goes long to absolutely no one Shering picked it up for Middlesbrough Spence brings it forwards back to Shering into Lowry. Lowry turns, finds Greenwood, into Gillum, but Gillum gives it away to Wilson Esbrand. We've got it. Back to Watts. Knight to Davenport. Davenport into Bradshaw. Bradshaw goes back to Purrington. Bradshaw goes long into Longman. Longman looking for a crossing opportunity. Finds Dreyer. It's blocked and it's gone out for a corner, I think. It has. Dreyer with the corner. Looking for an in-swinger. Can't find his man, but Mate picks it up on the edge of the box. Goes backwards to Purrington. Rose to Davenport. Davenport to Dreyer. Dreyer, not sure who he was looking for there, but doesn't find anyone. And the highlight ends. Right, let's get Bradshaw off. And John Jules on. And then the final change on 75 minutes will be Mate. For Akachukwu, I think, our youngster. And I think this is the first time I've actually I will have actually played him. So Mate goes down the line. But can't find anybody. And the highlight ends. Rose. Back to Purrington. Purrington to Dreyer. Dreyer goes long. And it's through to Sarkic, the goalkeeper. Bring on Okachukwu at this stage. Sharing to Ingram. Ingram to Lowry. Lowry back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper goes long. Uh, only finds a Derby head. Davenport to Mate. Mate into John Jules. John Jules hits the crossbar. And that is the cue for Daniel Okachukwu to come on for Mate. We're 2 0 ahead.
should be able to see this one out comfortably now with only seven minutes left. Although there's quite a few players who were uh, blowing quite hard at this stage. But Wilson Esbrand has a throw in for Derby on the left. Gives, the ball's given away. Middlesbrough come forward through Gillam. He goes back to Spence. Spence goes back to Ingram. Ingram goes long over the top. Middlesbrough hit the post, but it's offside, Gillam. And we're three minutes away from winning the match. Rose brings it forward, goes long, finds John Jules, inside to Okachukwu. Okachukwu plays in John Jules. Okachukwu blazes over the crossbar. That's absolutely fine at this stage. Less than a minute left now. Comfortably cleared by Derby. Dreyer brings it forward. Finds Okachukwu, who should be full of running. Takes it to the corner flag, but crosses. And it's headed just wide by Longman. And that surely is going to be the last action of the, uh, the match. But... Uh, Middlesbrough have one last opportunity to come forward and that is indeed full time 2-0 uh, to, uh, to Derby and absolutely outstretched the arms, nice work everyone and I will see you for the second match of the episode in just a moment It is now the uh, 1st of January, which means the uh, transfer window is open. And ahead of our second match of the episode against AFC Wimbledon, I've got a transfer to announce for you. Uh, we have signed Curtis Nelson from West Bromwich Albion for £1.1 million. Pounds. And uh, let's have a quick look at him. He's a 31-year-old centre-back and he's a four-star current ability. I think that's... Uh, exactly the sort of signing we needed and uh, he's going to go straight into the uh, team for today's game so uh, let's uh, go and select that team and uh, here we go uh, we'll quick pick it Nelson and Wolfenden that's a good centre back partnership uh, Kaka yeah absolutely I'm going to put Cal Reese in goal and we're going to put, where is he? Um, Tom Bradshaw is going to go up front. In fact, no, he's not. Let's have a look. We're going to go with Obi Alare as the, uh, the forward and we'll have the uh, Tyrese John Jules on the bench. So uh, the team for today then is uh, Cal Reese in goal, back four of Osman Kakai, Curtis Nelson, Luke Wolfenden, and Josh Wilson Esbrand. Max Bird at the base of midfield, Regan Slater, Marcus McGuane in central midfield, Connor Chaplin on the right wing, Josh Murphy on the left, Obi Alare up front. And let's get into the match. So we'll. Uh, Give the lads some encouragements. Ten changes from the previous game. So um, a much changed lineup. Given that it's only a three days, I think, since the uh, the previous match. And uh, we will uh, go into the dressing room and let's pump the fists. Um, let's tell them to pile on the misery for AFC Wimbledon and let's go see what we can do so it's Derby with the kick off Wolfenden to Nelson Nelson gets his first touch in the Derby shirt um, Slater to Kakai Nelson again comes forward gives it to Kakai he hasn't done anything wrong so far although Alare then runs the ball out of play and the highlight ends so let's demand more at this stage we are looking to uh, obviously put some daylight between us and the uh, the bottom three. 
in this game. Wimbledon would have expected to have been down at the bottom at the start of the season, whereas we were hoping for more. So it's a game I want, I want and expect to win. Kakai to Nelson, Nelson back to Roos, Roos to Wolfenden, Nelson gets it back, Bird, Slater, Slater goes for the Hollywood ball to the left wing, finds Murphy, Murphy gives it to McGuane, McGuane with a great cross, Regan Slater's there to finish it off, it is 1-0 and that is a great start, so we will watch that again, Murphy cuts back on to onto his right foot, McGuane right footed in swinging cross, Slater with a volley into the top corner and what a goal, Wimbledon kick off, Nightingale gives the ball away but it's headed forward by Derby only to their left back Dorrington, Brown to, uh, now it's Rodoni, Nightingale over the top Woodyard is in but can't get get his shot past the goalkeeper. Derby clear their lines. Mangana with the throw in. And it's crossed in but the header goes straight into Roos's hands. It's a very even start to the game, so we need to demand more. We should be done we should be bossing this game. Alare takes it wide, is going to need some help, gets it from Wilson Esbrand, inside to McGuane who looks for Murphy, finds him, Alare crosses, hits the, the crossbar and that's another chance wasted, Ladoni in and keeper saves it, with the help of the post, Kakai clears. We're under far more pressure than we should be at this stage. Nightingale manages to win a corner for Wimbledon. And not sure who the uh, the weak link is at the moment. Chaplin brings it clear for Derby. Runs centrally, goes left for Murphy. Murphy needs to get a cross in, gives the ball away instead and the highlight ends. Uh, Mangana with the throw in, Nightingale goes for the long ball, Radoni but he's tackled, Kakai infield to Bird, Bird back to Nelson, Nelson goes long, can't find his man, Arifmandia, Derby win it back, Bird to Chaplin, Chaplin to Kakai, Nelson goes long again, into the left back area, Mangana to Pascotzi, Dorrington gives the ball away, Murphy comes forward for Derby, goes for the shot, can't keep it down, and it's Wimbledon on the attack again, but Derby again bring it clear, Although Alare's lost the ball. I think Alare might be first in line for uh, being hauled off at the moment as it stands. Lawrence down the line for Wimbledon. Mangana with the ball in. And it's saved by the Derby goalkeeper. In fact, it's going to be Chaplin who's going to be first off at half time. Although Murphy possibly as well. Um, Neither of them's playing well. We're demanding more. Ball forward. Alare can't get there. Mangana to Woodyard to Lawrence. Moreno. Back with Pascotti. Lawrence again for Wimbledon. Down the line to Moreno, but it's given away. We've got it back through Wilson Asbrand. Wolfenden. Nelson into Slater. Slater goes wide but can't find his man. Dorrington for Wimbledon. Radoni, Brown, Dorrington, Moreno, Nightingale to Radoni. Radoni for Arzamendia. It's uh, an absolute cock up in the uh, Derby defence. 
Wimbledon to score. And that is not what we needed. I think Chaplin is going to be the one to make way at half time. Wilson has Brown to McGuane to Bird. Kakai. Can't get him. the ball into the box. It's out for a throw in. But we don't get to see it. And it is 1 1 at half time. So we're going to thrash the arms. Uh, that's not good enough. And we will take off Connor Chaplin, I think. Yes, we will. So Connor Chaplin off at half time for uh, Ryan Longman. Uh, let's go out for the second half. We'll hit them immediately with a demand more. Brown back to Dorrington. Piscotsi to Dorrington. It's Y to Arzamendia. Kakai and the highlight ends. But Arzamendia comes forward again for Wimbledon. Brown to Lawrence. Lawrence has a shot, which the keeper is more than equal to. Wilson has Brown brings it clear on the highlight ends. So we need a demand more as soon as we get the chance to do it. But um, Ilare is going to be next off. And we'll bring on Tyrese John Jules. And then we will hit them with a demand more as we've now got the opportunity to do it. And no highlights at this stage. So another demand more will very shortly be incoming. And it will be McGuane will be the third and final substitution as soon as, as, soon as we've done a demand more. Wayne is back now. Regan Slater, change of plan. Regan Slater for Jason Knight. Nelson goes for the long ball, can't find his man. Longman plays in Slater. Could Slater's last contribution be to contribute to a goal? He crosses it in, and it is a penalty. John Jules with the chance from the spot for Derby. Finds the net, despite the fact the keeper goes the right way. That's his fifth goal of the season. It's Wimbledon 1, Derby County 2. We've got about 16 minutes to play. And uh, we just need to uh, keep the pressure on. Murphy with the corner. Into the box, it's headed clear, but Wilson as Brown should pick it up. Does, gives it to uh, Wolfenden. Bird plays it for Kakai. Kakai has the shot straight at the uh, goalkeeper for Wimbledon. And we've got about 12 minutes to play. So we'll hit a demand more for probably the last time. Dorrington to Brown, Brown to Mullin, Mullin to Tabanoli, I think it's called. Uh, Oshu, Lawrence, it's over the bar via the uh, gloves of Cal Roos. And we're hanging on a little bit here. It is headed clear. Longman with it, but the highlight ends. Inside the last 10 minutes. And it's a goal kick for Wimbledon. Six minutes left. John Jules back to Wolfenden. Left to Esbrand. Uh, Murphy goes for the Hollywood ball. Knight to John Jules. John Jules shot charged down, but Longman picks it up. Back to Kakai into Knight. Kakai gets it back. Doesn't take the chance for a cross. Instead feeds Longman. And it's cleared, but Longman is offside anyway. So we've got three minutes left. Need to hold on here for the win. Five added minutes, but Wilson Esbrand with the throw in. McGuane to Murphy to Wilson Esbrand. McGuane 
Wilson has Brown finds Walsenden. Into Bird. Bird finds Murphy. Murphy finds Wilson as Brown. Back to McGuane. McGuane finds Murphy. Murphy goes for the uh, ball into the box. Longman shots charged down. And we've got another corner. And it is an out swinging corner from Murphy. Into the box. It's cleared, but Wilson has Brown picks it up on the edge. Looks for an opportunity to cross, can't get one. And wins a free kick instead. Mangana will surely be booked, but he's not. He's just given a warning to calm down. In swinging free kick from Knight. Headed over. And the highlight ends. And there's one final highlight. It's Wimbledon with it, so we've just got one chance to see out. Mangana down the line to Nightingale. Mangana gets it back. Gives it to Woodyard. Back to Mangana. Woodyard again. It's charged down. McGuane with the chance to break for Derby. Plays in John Jules. Can he get a shot away? No, he goes wide left instead to the corner flag. And that is full time. So it's Wimbledon 1, Derby 2 in the second match of the episode. Outstretch the arms. Um, take that always good to get a result when not playing as well as we can we should have seen Wimbledon off far more comfortably than that but at the end of the day a win is a win and uh, that's uh, two good results from that episode and uh, I'll uh, see you very shortly where we'll confirm the league table and uh, the uh, point at which we'll come back in the next episode. Okay, time to look at the uh, league table. And as you can see, back-to-back -back wins in this episode have lifted us to uh, 19th place. And we are a massive nine points clear of the drop zone. And uh, we will bring you back in tomorrow's episode for the Sheffield United game at home and Portsmouth away and uh, also the uh, conclusion of the January transfer window and uh, so that will be on uh, tomorrow's episode and if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on the video for me subscribe to my channel for regular Football Manager videos thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye